Chosene, which is pretty young, which is the one with the women, the one the dominus. Mind the saga again, Chenop Magnica, not to a saga good tech, you would demand the name Ontario Asianocratic Canada. We mind the mom and Jimmy Kibiak, Bish, by an argument, my big at Quebec. Minuto went down with Manda, Minuto Miss. Good also, Mampi, Nishnabing and Nakiat, Tenun, Mampi Minising, Mino and Nibina, Robert and Mushik. Manda comes in at this long, we devote the man, Manda, and get a bit young. We know the mighty young, Kinegu was a chicken. We know the end of the man, Manda, and the end of the morning. Mino, you, Mino, it's a jock. I look at it as a normal process in life and I see myself aging gracefully at my workplace. I'm known as the language keeper, the knowledge keeper. I want all the children, students in my community to call me Nokmis. Nokmis. I keep very active for my, for my age. And you know, I, I do a, a lot of uh, outside activities. Like, um, for instance, every every year, as long as I can remember, I've been doing winter wood. When I also, when I retired from work, I noticed I was a bit overweight, and and I started walking. You know, I walk with my dog. I talk to my dog. You know, it keeps me my mind thinking all the time what to do. And my dog's a very happy dog. You know, he doesn't talk to me, but <laughs> we get along well. Yeah, keep my mind, you know, as we age too, our mind also ages. And for my mind, I do, you know, like puzzles and word find and anything I can find, my, you know, keep my mind active. Healthy aging to me would be to, um, to be at peace. And the way I found that is to give up my old habits that I've had. You know, I, was, I had suffered immensely with addictions. And then I found a way to get rid of all that. You know, I eventually got into a self-help program. A part of uh, healthy aging is, is the ability to be able to to uh, get your voice out there and and to uh, get get uh, your your point across not only to yourself, to others in your family, but to your your leadership. I enjoy meeting with all the seniors and elders in our community. It's uh, a privilege to be with them. Virus came on, came along to so really my family that couldn't visit or I could, couldn't go and visit them. But I was happy that uh, the support workers were jumped in and, and, you know, helped me out too. But once it started to clear, they started avoiding the days. And, the, and uh, later on, I noticed that they don't call anymore, so it's kind of hard, especially living alone, nobody to talk to. But if they call and, and at least call, you don't have to come, at least I'd be happy to. People have uh, indicated to me that they would like to know more about the Elders Council, and they also wanted to uh, maybe present some issues. So it would be um, good for the Elders Council to have maybe openings for presentations by certain elders wanted to make a presentation that could be structured in such a way as to uh, maybe do a little video or they could also just have um, maybe uh, a Zoom meeting. We got to have uh, safe areas where older people can live. In the future, well, there's not going to be enough room in the nursing home, so they got to have a, a suitable place for them to live, like uh, a design apartment blocks where six people could stay with a caregiver, which would have a walkway all around uh, where they could walk undercover. It's important for those that are providing for the planning of activities in the community to ensure that the elders are included in their uh, consultation, that they can hear. Oftentimes when planning is being done I would be the one that would contact the elderly and I would have uh, the questions for them that would assist them and that they themselves are identifying what they are in most need of. When I think of uh, healthy aging, 
I, I have a lot of concern. I worry about not only healthy aging for myself, but healthy aging for this world, for, this, for Mother Nature. Not long ago, they had said if our temperature goes up one degree, that we would be in big, big trouble. And the temperature went up two degrees. So we're starting to get the effects from that. The ocean expands because the temperature expands the ocean. And that's why our Great Lakes stop flowing. We have to uh, stop taking so much from the environment. Part of my job as a consultant is to know and understand climate change, invasive species. We have aerial spraying on our berries and our bushes and, and our trees and our forests, which is spreading a poison. And, and it's something we have to really start looking at and start to understand. Everything is here for a reason. Way, hey, hey, ah, ah. Way, hey, hey, ah.